What's going on, everybody? It's Robert coming to you from the Old Bird Farm. We're actually standing in inside. Yes, inside. The Old Bird Farmhouse. We're standing inside of the Old Bird Farmhouse right now. So I'm going to give you a little bit. Uh, this is kind of going to be a little whirlwind update of what's going on out here on the Old Bird Farm. And of course, we've got Aaron from the Best Family Homestead out here with me. Don't forget to go check out his channel. And uh, we're both going to tell you about some upcoming plans. And uh, there's a lot of work coming up. Just in time for Aaron to go on vacation. <laughs> vacation, aren't we? <laughs> all right, so a lot of you guys have been asking me when I'm going to start working on the Old Bird Farmhouse. So I thought I would bring you inside today and show you some of the stuff that has been going on because some work has been happening behind the scenes out here on the Old Bird Farmhouse. In fact, my mom has been out here helping me go through some of the stuff that was in the house and clean it out so we can start working on replacing some of the floors and other structural work that needs to be done on the house. So we're standing inside of the dining room of the house right now. And the cool thing is you can see floors down here. Now this is one of the sections of the house that's actually uh, in pretty good shape floor wise here. I do have a couple floors that need to be replaced in the house, but it's super cool to be able to see these old floors. Any idea what kind of wood that is there, Aaron? Uh, most of these old floors were oak. Uh... But this, looking at the grain pattern, I think this is more than likely pine because it doesn't look quite as, the grain doesn't look as tight enough to be oak. Gotcha. Most everything down here in South Georgia was pine because it's everywhere and it was everywhere, so. All right, so this is another cool piece that is inside of the house. And I think that this is a Depression era, um, almost like love seat sort of thing in here. And the reason that I say that is because you can see that it was cushioned. Um, at one time, obviously, this has suffered mouse damage and everything else, but it was cushioned by multiple layers of old clothing. And that is something that is definitely Depression era because back during that time, nothing went to waste. That and that chair is definitely depressed. Yeah, this, this, <laughs> chair, <laughs> this chair is definitely depressed. But look at this, Aaron. This is a pretty cool because it's not just... A chair. I see that. That is cool. Oh yeah, look at this. There we go. There we need. We needed that. That could be handy. Right? Yeah. Who knows? Who knows what we I got? I think that's here? from the 1940s. Carpentry and woodworking section. 19 copyright. 1923 first published. This is a ninth printing. 1940. Yeah. So. Oh look. Knots. Hey, we learned about some of those. Repairing, refinishing furniture, agriculture, setting up your farm workshop, a whole bunch of carpentry and woodworking, a lot of good information in this, strapping in and fitting saws, that, that's actually a pretty good reference book right there for a lot of stuff you use uh, that we use that many people do not know how and even some of the stuff we have questions about yeah can be hard to find that's pretty awesome metalworking huh pretty cool that is awesome pretty cool a lot of uh maybe some lost knowledge in there we've got this is the uh, upgraded uh camera this is the upgraded camera that we're going to be shooting with <laughs> out here it's, it's got all the hds in it all right but check this out Aaron, so this is, uh, I don't think that anything has been put in this couch box thing since it was built, because I thought it was Depression era. And look at this stuff that's inside of it. First of all, these older dolls. I mean, that's definitely. Yeah, that's, that's 30s, 40s. Yeah. Or, or older. But then if we go in here, we have... I'll just move some of this around here. And like this is like World War II propaganda. Uh-huh. Right here. Um tanks and jeeps. Warplanes, tanks and jeeps. Oh coloring. It's book. our it's our book. It's our book right there. Right? I, I bet if that had been mine and yours, all the jeeps have been colored in. <laughs> right. Let's look at it. See what's colored in there. I'll give it to Aaron and let him take a look and we'll just See, there's a paint book that's got uh, nurses and Air Force. Greer Carson coloring book. So you guys let me know an age on that. But 
pretty neat. <laughs> Lockheed Hudson Bar bomber sinking uh, enemy submarine. Searchlight spot bombing planes and air raid on enemy. Yeah, this is this is coloring books for when boys were trained to be men. This was not uh not watered down. Uh -uh, not no. watered down history. That's that's pretty awesome. Somebody's pretty good too. Yeah. Oh look. Allied flyer uh -huh. <laughs> discovers enemy spies landing back parachute. He's getting them too. <laughs> He's getting them. <laughs> I'm gonna have PTSD from that picture. Uh oh, here we go. There's the Jeep. There's the Jeep. I wonder if my ambulance. My ambulance is actually too new for this coloring book. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, man, don't, I, hope, hope, I hope the Jeep got away. Right. <laughs> this is pretty cool. Oh, look. U.S. Uh, cargo ships being con convoyed by destroyers and planes right there. There's some mortar action going on this is a really cool book this is um definitely some world war ii era propaganda sort of stuff this is pretty cool i wonder if uh oh we got one called big boom, <laughs> the big uh, boom. another book here oh, chicago that's pretty cool all right, so we found a confirmed date on it. Copyright USA 1942. So this was early on in the war, too. Super neat. Oh, that's cool. I found the uh, found a section that we need right here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The farm workshop. It's got your layout. It's got how to build your business, how to hang your tools, where to put your vice. Pictures of some old workshop. Well, that's kind of going to bring us into the next thing we're going to do. Absolutely. So let's go up there and keep updating them. Let's do that. All right. So speaking of workshops, Aaron had a really cool idea that I'm 100% on board about. Now, last time you saw, we had just removed the back wall of the shed and it's still down. But then after the camera stopped rolling, we started coming up with some ideas. Yeah, we, uh, we already talked about it. We need to go over, you know, how this beam is going to need to get replaced or reinforced we already have this wall down so that's one wall we already have to put up uh we already know we need to put you know support in the middle we already have to clear all this out and you know get everything level enough to bring the kubota in here to help support and dig everything out so since we're already gonna have this cleared out we already have to build one wall and replace one beam and we have lots of uh Lots of that poplar and a lot more trees to finish milling here in the next couple of months. I said, why not just go with the exact style of the building on the inside? We're going to replicate all the braces, basically build exactly the same. But we're just going to come out like another 10, 10 feet uh, and make this a good usable workshop. Uh, that's really only two additional walls uh, that we have to build. Very simple construction. 10 isn't an issue <laughs> yeah. we've already got the 10 uh so we said hey instead of just putting it up right there let's go ahead and come on out and make it a little bit bigger yeah so i'm actually super excited to expand the old smokehouse on here build an addition onto it and we're going to do it in a way you talked about where it's not exactly attached but it's just mm -hmm. up against it yeah, so. it's pretty much going to be a second building uh that will be just a little bit you know it'll be its own building we'll put kind of a few screws in it we're just going to build a second building next to it and come down it's going to be just a little bit shorter so we don't have to attach onto it come down about a foot uh, on each side and do all the cross braces um we'll do all the rafters the same you know make it except for looking newer which the wood will age quickly uh and then we'll have a place to put stuff and then a place to work on stuff and you know maybe an air compressor a welder or something once we yeah. get some power well yeah that's when you say we're going to need some power we are to, going to need some power so i think that's going to
bring us to segment number three. Yes. So let's go talk about that. I'm going to give Aaron nice the lead in. Nice That's lead in there, huh? That's a good lead in. Yeah, yeah. I'm, lear I'm learning fast. I see. Go, go subscribe to Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this is the current power situation. <laughs> the current <laughs> non-power yeah. situation. Is this, the current is this a test? Okay. No, no power running through here. This is the current power situation on the old bird farm. So, uh, yeah, we're not plugging anything into that. But over here... Is, the, is also the current power situation. You can kind of see it hanging down from that pole. It's uh, uh, wisteria, wisteria driven. Right. <laughs> it's wisteria. It's, we're going green power out here. Um, we've got a power pole out here on the old bird farm, and I actually had Georgia Power, the local power company, come out here the other day, and we got approved for power out here on the old bird farm. So we are going to put power out here on the farm obviously we cannot run power to the house just yet but um, as Aaron was saying we need power for tools all sorts of stuff and electric fences if somehow goats show up out here. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if I know anybody that has goats um, so we are definitely getting power out here I'm gonna let Aaron tell you a little bit about how we're gonna go from there from the road to there well you tell them how we're gonna go from that pole to power and then we'll talk about how we're going to go from the road to the Yeah, pole. so all, all we got to do, we're going to put in, uh, it's going to be a temporary per permanent pole. So we're going to come over about 15 feet. Uh, Robert has sourced another pole. We're going to sink a pole. Uh, that one will probably be renting an auger, I think, yeah. from the rental place, put on the back of the tractor and uh, dig that hole because, you know, there's a lot of wisteria roots and right. pecan roots in here. And so we'll dig the hole. Uh, we're going to try and reuse maybe that meter, uh, round up the new meter box and everything. So we'll go from that pole to a temporary pole, and then we're going to bury everything and run it back over and put our first breaker box in the shed while we wait on being able to hook power up to the house. Uh, now, this is interesting. Hmm. Well, I just need to clear around this. Point, yeah, we right? just need. Yeah, yeah. Just, just a little bit of clear. That's nothing that the Kubota won't handle. But uh, but uh, where where's the transformer? Transformer is um, you, well, you can't. You see where that tree is right there? It's, uh -huh. it's behind it. That big and all I that see. green stuff. So I don't. We probably should walk this. Uh, yeah, let's to walk see, it down to the walk our line so we see what all we've got that might be in the way. Yeah. So. It's, I think this won't be no problem, you know, to walk it out. So I'll start. Oh, this is a good place, and I know that the like right, the, yeah, right, right back that way. That way. So let me. But we need to we need to walk the ground and make sure yeah. there's nothing there. It's going to mess yeah, up the they tractor. Can, they need to clear. Yeah. So this ain't no problem. <laughs> this is no. Aren't you gonna come? <laughs> oh, I, I'm uh, being the safety observer to make sure. Well, I'm trying to, you get, know. Don't we have something that's orange that would make this yes. a little bit easier? Yes, okay. we do. <laughs> Wait, I made it. Hold on, I made it a whole five feet in. And I would, I would egg him on and make him go on back in there, but I see some of the big briar along with the wisteria stuff, and some of those saw saw briar. I'm not sure exactly what they're called. Man, they hurt. Yes, like they, they will give you yeah, that's almost crazy. to the point of having stitches. Right there, yeah. Yeah, no, this stuff's nasty. So the other thing that we have to do to create power out here, and people um, have asked before about, you know, when am I gonna start working on the house? Why am I just clearing land? Because clearing land is the first major step yes. to being able to work out here and also keeping it maintained. So that is going to be upcoming here soon. This is the stuff I'm talking about that we have to do and then Aaron just goes somewhere <laughs> on vacation um, so we're gonna have to clear a line through here and then you say something about uh, possibly that there was another old driveway there or something like that over here that comes in here and I think it's I've actually been trying to spot it I tried earlier um, there's a pretty deep ditch yeah runs alongside the road in there somewhere um, we can look at the ditch over here. Yeah, so it's just going to be a. Uh, but the, the but the cool thing is, who knows what we will discover 
yeah. when we start clearing this out. Well, I already found one thing. Huh? Found a bottle of fireball. Uh, <laughs> it's not mine either. I just want to throw that out there. Yeah, here's the ditch. And at some point in time, this was actually a uh, concrete line ditch over here. Now this is uh, technically the county's responsibility to keep clean, to keep cleaned out, uh, but you can <laughs> see how well that's happened over the years. Oh yeah, I see the culvert right there. Yeah. And so somewhere along here, there is another driveway that comes into this property. Yeah, that, that is, uh, uh, wonder, is that an actual culvert? Because I'm wondering what it drained to. I wonder where the drain stuff went. You know, it's kind of weird because the up there it goes uphill mm -hmm. and the ditch starts up there it comes down and just kind of fades away the ditch does up where you remember where i was pulling up all those trees beside the road mm -hmm. that's where the ditch just kind of disappears so it's like it comes down and goes back up well isn't that where that concrete you see what i'm talking about that yeah does that hole run backwards towards us it, no, or is, or is that just part of a, like a concrete wall? It's just part of a concrete wall. Oh, okay. Yeah, because it, it's concrete walled all the way down. Um, oh. It's like the water doesn't really have anywhere to go from. Right, there. right. Huh. Now you know. Again, well, if it's if it's all, it probably made more sense if it's all cleared. <laughs> Out. <laughs> I'm getting attacked by wisteria back here. Yeah, it would make more sense if it was all cleared. So. Um, that other driveway that comes into the property, I want to say it's right about here, actually. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think it's right here. Um, it would well. take actually getting through some of that stuff to see. <laughs> <laughs> Can you say bush hog? So here it is from the road. There's the transformer that'll be supplying power to the old bird farm. It runs. It runs about like like this because that pole is not under there. Yeah, it's it's right under. It's that. right under. It's like the worst spot. Yeah. It, it couldn't be one way or another. It's going to be like right here through the thickest of the jungle. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, it is the worst possible spot. Wow. Yeah, yeah. You can see where they cut on the pole of the power before. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Three wires hanging off. Yeah. Yep. So somewhere in through that. Well, I've been wanting to clear that anyway. Yep. Boy, I'm tired just it's, looking at I, that. I am too. <laughs> I'm gonna take to, a I'm, nap. I'm, <laughs> I, I'm working on it in my head. All of that work, power. All of that work, power. <laughs> you know. Well, we'll get her done.